Today, I'm diving into a critical moment in history. Adolf Hitler's controversial speech from March 16, 1935. Picture this. It's a time of brewing tension in Europe. World War I had left deep scars and the Treaty of Versailles imposed strict military restrictions on Germany. But then, Hitler steps onto the scene with a bold declaration. Germany would immediately reinstate general military conscription. This was a direct defiance of the Treaty of Versailles, and it was a move that sent shockwaves across the continent. Now, this wasn't just any speech. Hitler's decree, read out by propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels, laid out ambitious plans to expand the German army. He empowered Defence Minister General Werner von Blomberg to enforce this new conscription law. Hitler justified his actions by claiming that Germany needed to protect itself. Pointing fingers at other nations for failing to disarm, the reaction? Well, it was mixed. In Berlin's sports palace, a large crowd erupted in cheers, showing their support for the Führer. But the international community? They were deeply concerned. This Blatant disregard for the Treaty of Versailles signalled a dangerous shift in German foreign policy and raised alarms about Hitler's true intentions. This speech was a pivotal moment that marked a significant step toward the outbreak of World War II. Fast forward to today and the echoes of Hitler's rhetoric are still haunting us. There's been a disturbing surge in online content that glorifies Hitler and attempts to revise the history of the Holocaust. Extremist groups and individuals are using social media platforms to spread their toxic messages. Even efforts to remove such content often fall short, highlighting the challenges of controlling hate speech online. One alarming incident involved a US television personality hosting a historian known for promoting Holocaust denial. This broadcast, seen by a large audience, sparked outrage and led to a spread of pro-Hitler content on various platforms. It underscored the dangers of giving a platform to historical revisionism and the potential consequences of normalising extremist views. The persistence of Hitler's rhetoric, even decades after his death, serves as a stark reminder of the importance of education and vigilance in combating hate speech. We need to remember and learn from the horrors of the past to prevent history from repeating itself. It's essential to actively challenge false narratives promote media literacy and foster a society that rejects all forms of intolerance and discrimination. Thanks for watching and remember, history is more than just the past, it's a lesson for the future.